Hey kids, what's up? It's Rance. I uh, just wanted to help you out, those of you guys who are stuck in SimCity update hell right now. Um, it's a couple days in, but I'm noticing on Twitter a lot of people are stuck at a certain part of uh, the issue. And there is a little uh, something that I can tell you that will empower you to fix this. So, a lot of people are playing the game, you guys. Uh, there's a significant portion of people who aren't. Um, and I found some information in the EA forums that was recently posted that deals with my uh, exact problem, which is a problem with the launcher. So, for instance, if I go to my SimCity and I launch it, and I hit play, what I'm hoping is that it will replicate here while I'm doing the video, and we'll see the problem. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to act uh, now that I'm on. Okay, so, for instance, it actually just uh, connected successfully to the server. But say, for instance, a lot of people are stuck at this screen here, and they're seeing nothing. They're seeing like 100%. They're seeing no play button. They're seeing no servers available. Uh, and if you have that problem, that's the problem that they posted about right here. So the easy button w way to deal with it is through your shortcut on your desktop. You can find this path right here, Program Files, Origin, Games, SimCity, and you can go in there and if you delete some of the user data uh, in this folder, then the patcher will be able to continue. So that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to pretend like this launching screen right here did not uh, successfully complete just so I can show you. But here's my shortcut. I'm going to go to the properties and it's going to pop up these properties right here and we're just going to pull I hit open file location. Um, now the user data is stored in the folder above this so we see C program files origin games SimCity but uh, the program file runs in a subfolder of that called SimCity also. I'm going to go to the top SimCity folder and we see the SimCity user data folder that they talk about right here. Um, so when we go in there and we take a look whoop, that ain't it. We see all of these files and you just want to take all of these and you want to delete. Yeah. Oh, my game's running so I can't delete everything. So close the game and delete everything. And just to be extra OCD, I'm also going to uh, take my recycle bin and I'm going to empty it. Okay, so now you've effectively just deleted the patching data uh, that the patcher has. So it's going to download all your user data again. So fire it up. I wonder if it thinks I already did. Okay, it's acting like I already did. And we see it downloading game scripts now. That's important. So you should see that immediately after you do this, or else it didn't work. Uh, once it downloads all the game scripts, those are the pro those are the problem files uh, in the world of SimCity at the moment. Uh, so you'll have to select a new server again. And let's just pick one to see if it'll be happy. I'm a Southern California guy. Let's pick the busy West Coast server. Uh, and as you can see, it's running slow still, but what I'm hoping is that the server will change here. Um, at any rate, I, you know, the only reason I'm trying to save, save to uh, change the server, I mean, is because I don't know. I just don't want to. I don't want it to be high latency to wherever. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's successfully changed. Um, but I'm gonna hit play anyway, and I'm in full screen mode, so you're not gonna see the game fire up. But the game just opened, and Let's see how it acts. It drops to play or SimCity World. Uh, and it looks like I'm online and everything. Uh, I haven't yet tried to play a game in this situation, but it's acting like I'll be able to. So uh, hopefully this information helps you guys. And sorry about the presentation, but I wanted to do it quickly for you. Get you guys all squared away. Have fun building your cities, guys. Later.